Hey friends, what's going on? This is David Potts with Song Notes and a quick lesson I had to make today. So this song just dropped, Say Something, Justin Timberlake with Chris Stapleton. Great song and this video is spectacular. Definitely check it out. It's shot in a single take it looks like in the Bradbury building in LA. Visually beautiful, awesome sounds going on. So I have to recommend that. But let's look at this song. I'm going to show you what you need to know, the chords and the strumming pattern. After that, I'll throw in some little uh, tips and advice if you want to take things a few steps further. So let's dive right on in. First up, main progression is just four chords, and we're gonna have a capo on the third fret. This is gonna let us use open chords, such as A minor and C and G. And that's as opposed to using E flat and B flat and a bunch of bar chords, which aren't really as fun to play. So, so this is the chord progression. We're gonna have A minor for four counts, to C for four counts, to G for four counts, and then to D major for four counts. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Say something, say something, say something. I don't wanna be caught up in the middle of it. Right? Forgive my singing, but you get the idea. So that's all you need for timing. Now here's a strumming pattern I really recommend doing if you can. Basically, this is going to be a down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So you're gonna repeat that strumming pattern, but you're gonna change chords after you play through that whole sequence once. So let's look at that again. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, and then you just repeat, okay? The thing I really want to call out here is you want to get the accent, meaning like the powerful strums on the one count, on the two and count, and on the four count, okay? So basically that's going to create this boom, 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 okay? It's really like the pulse of the song. And you know, the strumming pattern I'm showing you here is really just a suggestion. You can feel free to simplify it if you want or to add in just more strums, you know, but basically keep that hand going in 16th notes if you can, and uh, you'll be good to go with this strumming pattern, okay? So that covers the main part of the song. Now there is a little refrain or a bridge or something which uses this chord progression. It's going to go from F to A minor to C to G. Same strumming pattern, right? Okay, now, the real fun opportunity that this part opens up is being able to sort of ascend these bass notes and walk up between the chords. And what I mean by that is listen as I go from the F to, to the A minor to the C, okay? So what I did there is I'm gonna do a sort of quick strum of a G between the F and the A minor and then go to the A minor and then do a quick strum of the uh, G over B. This is basically a G chord, but the the B, or second fret of the fifth string, is the lowest note. So again, that sounds like... Okay, so basically what you're getting there is... Okay? Um, and basically, you know, in the song itself, you hear that really punctuated with, you know, really strong percussion going on there. So look at this tab, fill in the strumming as you desire, and you'll be good to go, okay? Okay, so that's the refrain. So you know the main chord progression, you know the strumming, you know this little refrain here. Okay, so one thing I want to talk about with this song is the opportunity to do some of these hammer-ons. Right? So what those are basically doing is, as I'm in the chord shape with my left hand, and as I'm doing strumming with my right hand, I'm gonna basically sort of uh, bring some of my fingers on and off the fretboard. And when I'm hammering them on, when you do it forcefully enough, it makes a new sound, which is cool, right? So basically, look at this tab. For the C, a good one I like to do is basically bring in my middle finger, okay? You can do it with the G as well. I like doing that in the middle finger. And with the D, what I like to do here is use my pinky to go to a D sus four, okay? So all together, these sound like this. Check out this tab. Okay, 
It's a nice way to sort of add some flourish to this song. But otherwise, that's all you're gonna need for this song. You got those two chord progressions, that strumming pattern, that flourish, and you can take it for where you want from there if you wanna do some muted strumming or some other cool stylistic stuff. But this should get you started with the song. Have fun, remember, check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. And head on over to my website, playsongnotes.com for my notes and tabs for this lesson, for all my other lessons, they're all there waiting for you. It's a great resource. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Hit me up in the comments with any comments or questions you have. Hit that subscribe button, tell a friend, and remember, more important than anything else is pick up that guitar and play. Bye-bye.